This is Pat, Kitchen Connections. We are just getting started on a kitchen install this morning. Looks like all the subs are here. We got James with House to Home Innovation. We got Corey's crew, um, John with uh, Plumbing Masters. So let's get inside and get started. So the first things we wanna do is kinda get everything laid out. Um, cabinet heights for your base cabinets, we are 34 and a half inches from the floor up. Wall height is 54 inches from the floor up, and that's finished floor. So the first thing we wanna do is get a level line and uh, find out where our high spot is in the floor and see how out of level we are. So going from uh, the left side to the right side, we're about three quarters of an inch at a level. Real important to figure out because you don't want to install your cabinets and cut the bottoms off over here and have them touching over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to shim the cabinets on the right up off the floor one inch. So it gives us one, uh, one quarter of an inch uh, play to adjust cabinets on the left hand side. So we should end up with a three quarter to a one inch filler over here and a quarter to a zero inch uh, filler on the ground there. We also did our measurement from finished floor, not from the floor we have now. We are doing a quarter inch floating floor. So we put that into our math also. So we are 34 and three quarter on that side. And then over here we'll end up being at uh, an inch higher. So we wanna get the sink center first because we wanna start off the sink center. We've already got the line marked here and we're just gonna lay out the cabinets so we kinda know what we're doing before we get to it. Um, so I got the sink center here. I'm gonna mark my cabinet over here at 18 inches for sink, sink base is 36. So we're gonna do half of that for 18 inches. And then the next cabinet is a 24 inch cabinet with a three inch filler. So I'm gonna come over here and James, would you mark it 27 inches please? We're gonna do the fridge with the two end panels, 36 inch fridge with two inch and a half end panels, so 39 inches total. And then from there, We have a 15, but we have an inch filler, so we are 16 inches there. And then we got a 24 inch uh, bar fridge, but we have a filler on each side of it. So 26 inches for that, which leaves us 17 inches for our 15 inch cabinets. We'll have an inch and a half filler over there also. First thing we did, is uh, got the level of the wall over there so we could figure out exactly how all of our cabinets are gonna be. This wall over here is about three quarters of an inch at a level, which is pretty normal. No kitchen in any house is uh, perfectly level, so it's, it's normal to find stuff being at a level. So the first thing to do is find out the mistakes of the kitchen so you can work through it at the get-go. So we're about three quarters of an inch at a level there. We got our mark here for our oven cabinet, 33 inches. We're gonna measure over from there, just double checking everything's gonna fit. I got a 33 inch cabinet here. Leave me two and, two and a quarter for our trim. So we wanna do the exact same measurement starting on the other side of the window. Two and a quarter. And then what's our next cabinet? 24. We got a 24 inch cabinet with a one inch filler. 39 inches for the fridge. And 18 inch cabinet for the first wall cabinet, 21, but I'm gonna get 22 for the filler over here, which then leaves us 18 and a half inches left over for a filler on the other side. So James and I know now that everything's gonna be just fine. We're not gonna have any problems. Uh, we shouldn't have any problems uh, for the install. Everything's laying out just as planned. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get everything chalked up and ready to go. End of day one. Um, James is just finishing up some odds and ends and then we should have everything finished. Uh, basically, we got the 
whole back line done in one day. Um, we still have to come back and do our crown filler and then our crown molding. We got all the doors installed back on there. Um, got our island in place uh, just so the homeowners tonight could come home and double check that they like where it's at and you know if they want to move it left or right, front or back, uh, we could still do all that. Um, really cool kitchen here though. We got sea salt white on the background and then on our island we did a cool gray. Um, so we're mixing two colors. And like I said at the get-go, we are doing a finished floor after this is all done. We're going to be doing a floating floor. So that's why the floor is looking the way it is right now. We can do all the patching and everything when we're done. Um, we used all these canals to run electrical one way to the other way. So really good project. We did a great job for our first day. Um, so talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>